A hernia occurs when internal organs or tissues bulge through an inappropriate opening. Common types of hernias include inguinal hernias, hiatal hernias, and ventral hernias. If inguinal hernias occur in the inguinal canal, hiatal hernias involve the stomach pushing through the diaphragmatic opening, and ventral hernias occur in the abdominal wall. Hernias can be reducible or incarcerated, with incarcerated hernias possibly leading to a strangulated hernia, a medical emergency. Hernias occur due to a combination of increased pressure and weakened tissues. Risk factors vary based on type. Inguinal hernias are linked to increased intra-abdominal pressure and male gender. Ventral hernias may occur due to previous surgeries or obesity. Hiatal hernias are linked with older age, obesity, and genetic factors. Symptoms vary by type of hernia, but may include a visible bulge or pain. Hiatal hernias may cause heartburn, regurgitation of stomach contents into the esophagus, difficulty swallowing, or chronic cough or asthma. If a hernia of any type becomes strangulated, the client may exhibit severe pain, signs of a bowel obstruction, signs of sepsis, or reddened or dusky skin over the sites of inguinal and ventral hernias. Hernias are diagnosed based on physical exams and imaging like ultrasounds, CT scans, and MRIs. Hiatal hernias may be diagnosed using barium swallows or esophageal manometry. If strangulation of a hernia occurs, lab tests may reveal elevated white blood cells or lactic acid. Treatment includes medications and surgery. For hiatal hernias, proton pump inhibitors and lifestyle changes manage GERD symptoms. Surgery like Nissen fund application is considered if symptoms persist. Asymptomatic inguinal and ventral hernias may be monitored with a watchful waiting approach but require surgical repair if they become symptomatic or strangulated. Surgical techniques vary from simple tissue repair to the use of surgical mesh. Nursing interventions focus on symptom management, prevention of complications, and patient education. When caring for clients who have undergone surgical repair of a hernia, nurses administer analgesics and stool softeners and may apply ice. Patient education before discharge includes the importance of a high-fiber diet to prevent constipation, avoiding heavy lifting, and postoperative activity restrictions. Clients are also taught to report signs of infection at the surgical site. Evaluating nursing interventions involves determining if the client understands prevention and care strategies and adjusting nursing care plans as necessary to ensure patient outcomes are met.